take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Normal game. Alright, welcome okay. back. Right One now we're in the second segment, in which we're doing the game of Jeopardy for the PS2. So far, we won $2,000 of playing Hollywood Squares, in which we won. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny. Put on your thinking caps now, folks, because it's time for another challenging game of Jeopardy! Want to see the categories? Well, here they are. Here we go. The Director's Chair. People with presidential last names. 1966. Crossword clues, D. Creation stories. And to conclude, playing politics. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Okay, let's go with crossword Q. Uh, crossword there is nothing Q. like one. Four letters. What we were looking for was this. Dame. Oh, crossword clues D. Hey, you're still up. Okay, one. crossword clues D for four. Oven or Uncle Proceder. Five letters. Was. Is that it? Anyone? Ugh, Uncle Proceed? This is what we wanted. Never heard of that one. Oh, Dutch. Six. Answer? The Daily Do I have the gate? Oh, boy. Player one, please make your wager now. Let's go for a hundred. Okay, here's the clue. Wealthy Widow. Seven letters. That is incorrect. Here's what we were looking for. Dowager. I never heard of that one. Cross recluse D for A. Off with their heads. Ten letters. If I was to say decapitating, then... This is what we wanted. Oh, decapitate. Oh, decapitating. About 13 Player one, you're was. still in control of the board. A German's Germany. Eleven letters. I don't know. What we were looking for was this. German. Oh. Deutschland. Um. Uh, people with presidential last names. For two. This dear woman has lots of advice. Abby? Right. Oh, yeah. People with fast into last names for four. He won a Tony and an Oscar for playing Henry Higgins. Oh, what's his name? Who was Rex Harrison? Yes, indeed. Oh, duh. Rex Harrison, of course. Number three, you choose. People with presidential last names for 600. 16 tons, and what do you get? This singer, we bet. Who is Tennessee Williams?
No, I'll take it who is Tennessee forward. Correct. Okay, so now Williams is forward. Player one, your turn. Uh, people with presidential last names for eight. She played Wonder Woman. Who is Linda Carter? Correct. Pick again. People with presidential last names for a grand. He won an Oscar for Glory. Who is Denzel Washington? Right. Oh, that guy, of course. Player two, it's your turn. Creation stories for 200. Scholars link Egyptian creation myths to the sun fertilizing this Egyptian river's slime. What's the Nile River? Yes. Player one, your turn. Creation stories four. According to the King James Version, God's first words quoted in the book of Genesis are, Let there be this. Was it let there be light? Right. Creation story six. In some Native American myths, this small canine seen here helps a god create the world. Watch Ooh. this. What are they, a wolf? Take a look. Here's the right response. No, a coyote. A... Africa's Fulani people, who are cattle herders, say everything came from a drop of this cow product. If I would say dairy, then no. Nobody? This is what we wanted. Oh, milk. Hello. Thousand. To the ancient Greeks, it was a void from which Nix and Erebus emerged. In English, it's a disordered mess. I have no idea. Take a look. Here's the right... Chaos. Point. Oh, yeah. Um, direct is tier for two. This actress went on to direct Big, Awakenings, and Jumpin' Jack Flash. Her name, too. Take a look. Here's the right response. Oh, yeah, the Penny Marshall. 400. This director of Shaft got Oscar nominations for writing and directing Boys in the Hood. If I would say Spike Lee. Who is John Singleton? Right you are. Oh, John Singleton. It's your turn, player three. The director's chair for 600. Before marrying them, he directed Linda Hamilton in The Terminator and Susie Amos in Titanic. Who is... The one who is the best director of Avatar, who is James Cameron? Very good. Player one, you choose. 800. He directed Beetlejuice, Batman, and 2001's Planet of the Apes. Who is Tim Button? You bet. Thousand. Johnny Depp played this director of Plan 9 from Outer Space in a 1994 film. Who is Ed Wood? That's it. Ed Wood. Player 3, it's your turn. Two categories to go. Playing politics for 200. A former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and Bob Dole's running mate in 1996. Ooh, uh... 
was... This is the correct question. Jack Camp. Player three, you're still in control of the board. 1966 for 200. Here we go. In January, this former president and his wife, Bess, were presented with the first two Medicare cards. It's not Nixon. I have to say it's Gerald Ford. This is what we wanted. No, it was Harry Truman in 1966. Player three, you're still in control of the board. Playing politics for 400. Harvey Gant, Charlotte's first black mayor, has twice lost to this man for a North Carolina Senate seat. Who is Jesse Helms? Right, pick again. Playing politics for 600. In 1956, this Tennessee senator lost a vote for nomination to be vice president. His son did better in 1992. Oh, I think it was Al Gore in 92. Who is Albert Gore? Right. Yeah, that one. Playing politics for 800? This Pennsylvania senator and heir to a ketchup fortune died in a 1991 plane crash. I can think of as Heinz. That's right. Oh. Player one, your turn. Heinz, catch up, of course. Finish up playing politics for a grand. This GOP candidate weakened the Democratic Party's hold on the South when he carried five southern states in 1964. This is what we wanted. Barry Goldwater. Oh, yeah. 1966 for 400. The U.S. Treasury discontinued this denomination bill, though it made a comeback in 1976. Well, that's a $2 bill. Very good. 1966 for 600. On the 67th anniversary of his birth, a bronze bust of this A Farewell to Arms author was unveiled. Who is Ernest Hemingway? Yeah. That's it. Player three, you choose. 1966 for 800. Rumored gravely ill in Las Vegas, this billionaire sold his interest in TWA for $566 million. This is what we wanted. To TWA Airlines, it was Howard Hughes. The final answer on this board is... She won her third consecutive U.S. Figure Skating Championship and her first world title. Who is Peggy Fleming? Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right, that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how our players are doing. Commanding lead, player one. Good show. By 300 to player 3. Oh. Player 2 goes first in a double Jeopardy round. Now it's time for the double Jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. And the categories are... Let's see if you like these categories in the double Jeopardy round. Nicknames. Okay. Seeing red. All right. Sports. Ooh, your category. Novelist, playwrights. All right. European, European history. European geography. geography. And 
It triggered, it triggered this, this war. war. Player two, if you would start us off, please. European geography Blah. for 400. Dracula could tell you that Wallachia and Transylvania are regions of this Eastern European country. Here's your clue. Take a look. If I would take a guess, it would be Scandinavia. I'll just take a one good guess, Scandinavia. Uh, Is no, not nice scallops. Oh, try by a hundred. Anybody? Take a look. Here's the right. Oh, place. Romania. Well, I was close. You're still in control of the board, player two. Nickname for 400. This nickname of Mrs. Gore comes from a song recorded by Jan August and the Harmonicats. What is Tipper? Exactly. Oh yeah, typical. War. Okay, player three. Nicknames for eight hundred. The nickname of a Notre Dame star played by Ronald Reagan. It was later applied to Reagan himself. Take a look. Here's the right response. Say, Gipper. Gipper. Nicknames for twelve hundred. Nickname of Jack, whose actions resulted in the 1888 resignation of Scotland Yard Commissioner Charles Warren. What is the Ripper? You bet. Oh yeah, Jack the Ripper. Player two, of course. Will be. Sports for 400. Ooh. Fast pitch softball is played with nine players per team. Slow pitch teams have this many players. What is ten? Yes! If you would, player three. Sports for 800. In 1961, the Washington Senators moved to Bloomington, Minnesota and became this American League team. Was the Minnesota Twins? <laughs> right. No, it's Player not one. the Minnesota fat ass. <laughs> Sports for 12. Earl Anthony rolled on to a record 41 titles in this sport. Earl Anthony Classic? What is bowling? Very good. You pick again. Sports for 1600. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. 600. Okay, here's the... The Olympic steeplechase has been won by men named Korir, Koryuki, and Keter from this K country. K country. Uh... Was well, too eight? No, sorry. I was on this the K. This is the correct question. Kenya. Ah, I was on the K country. Two. Answer. Ah, another one. Boy. Player one, please make your wager now. A double, double, daily double. In the same category. Three hundred. Here's the clue. Country boy Joe Jackson got this nickname by playing barefoot, not even wearing black socks. Joe Bryant was named Jelly Bean Joe Bryant. Regrettably, no. Here's what we were looking for. Shoeless Joe Jackson. Uh. Okay, let's finish up nicknames for 
for 1600 Though Mets fans insist on Larry, this is the nickname of Atlanta Braves MVP Jones. Chipper Jones? What is Chipper? Right. God dang it. Your choice, player two. Okay, nickname for 2000. Superstar Will Chamberlain was the big one. This is the correct question. Oh. <laughs> Depper. No. Novelist playwrights for 400. Joseph Heller based his play, Clevenger's Trial, on chapter 8 of this, his most famous novel. What is Catch-22? Yeah. Correct. Pick again. Novelist playwrights for 800. Years before the novel Lolita, he published his verse play Smerti under a pseudonym in 1923. I have no idea who. Who was Vladimir Nabokov? Very good. Ew. That's what I said. Okay, I have no three. idea. Novelist playwrights for 1200. Sheppy is this of human bondage author's play about a barber who wins the sweepstakes. And again, I don't want to ring in. Here's what we were looking for. W. Samuel Monkhan. Oh. It triggered this war for 400. Oh, now you're going The with sinking that. of the U.S. battleship Maine. Um, I check it, this war? Revolutionary. Here's what we were looking for. Spanish-American war. Novelist playwrights for 1,600. This British romance novelist was in her 20s when she wrote the 1925 play Blood Money. It's not Agatha. Who is Barbara Cartland? That's it. Novelist playwrights for 2000. A giant among American women novelists, she wrote the play Stage Door with George S. Kaufman. Who was Edna Ferber? Right you are. Player two, what'll it be? Seeing Red for 400. According to Jeff Foxworthy, if you've got more than three cousins named Bubba, you might be one of these. What's a redneck? <laughs> you might be a redneck. That's it. Over to you, player one. Seem red for a. Anthony Kiedis and Flea of this group played in their first band together while attending L.A.'s Fairfax High. Was the Red Hot Chili Peppers? No, sorry. Oh, it's the Red Hot... What is the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah! Hey, you're correct. Player two, your turn. Seeing red for 1,200. Until 1907, this American League baseball team was nicknamed the Pilgrims. Santa Red. Who are they? Who are the Red Sox? Yes. Oh yeah, it's uh, named the Boston Red Player Sox. One, you choose. 1600. The President of the United States is the honorary chairman of this organization, founded by Clara Barton. What is the Red Cross? Hi, I might need to put a TV in my kitchen, man. It's just, I like to start dinner. I just don't know when the race is going to start. That's it, exactly. 
Seen with for two grand. A story by Edgar Allan Poe is called The Mask of This. Well, it's Red Dawn. No, and I am sorry. Oh, it's the Mask of Red Death. What is the Red Death? Correct. So, what with the other one? Player two, you choose. European geography for 800. Cape Roca, mainland Europe's westernmost point, is on the coast of this country seen here. Okay, here's Cape the clue. Cape Roca? Oh. What is Portugal? Precisely. It is clicked. European geography for 1,200. It's the Mediterranean nation seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Sicily? No, it can't be Sicily. Anyone? Here's what we were looking for. It's Greece! European geography for 1600. Malta lies about 60 miles south of this largest Mediterranean island. Okay, here's the clue. If I would do, say, Sicily. What is Sicily? Hey, you're correct. You son of a bitch! Okay, player three. European geography for 2000? About a tenth of Estonia's land area consists of islands in this sea, indicated here. Take a look at your monitor. See that the red or the black sea. It's red sea. What is the Baltic Sea? You bet. Oh, the Baltic. Player two, you choose. It triggered this war for 800. Here we go. The attack on Fort Sumter. If it's the American Revolutionary... What is the Civil War? Right. No, yeah. it's the Civil War. It triggered Maybe. this war for 1200. No, Pearl Harbor is World War II. The abduction of Helen by Paris. World War One. This is the correct question. The Trojan War. It triggered this war for 1600. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Uh, what is World War One? That's it. That one. And finishing off this round, the 1982 invasion of the Malvinas Islands, as the invaders call them. Vietnam War. Anyone? This is the correct question. The Falklands War. And that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Still in the game, player one. Crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. 19th century sports. sports. Hey, man, Go ahead, I'm make your wager. Yeah. One hour to race time. Alright. Category is 19th century sports. Figure I give you a heads up, they just set it on box. Alright. The category is 19th century sports. You know what? All in. Here's the clue. Good luck. Jackson Haynes, previously a teacher of this dance style, introduced its moves to figure skating.
Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player one, was... You sure took a chance on this one, player one, but it paid off for you, so congratulations. It was ballet. Woo! Your question, player three, was... Tango. Wong! Ooh. Let's see what that will cost you. Hey, say goodbye to all. Now, if player two mess sorry. up and lose out, Your question, we player have two a was... Soul of a win. Because she got it wrong. Ouch. No. That's How been more than three. It was only to four thousand to a one? <laughs> that was a heck of a game. <laughs> Congratulations to our winner, player one. <laughs> Yeah, take a wild guess. What is ballet? <laughs> Won it! Only nine thousand nine ninety nine. Wow. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? All right, we will. Coming up next, we are fortune for the three sixty.